God will only pursue you when he knows that you have a great future, when he knows that you have a great destiny. For with God in your family, for with God in your life, nothing shall be impossible. The days are evil. We can only survive by submitting to Jesus and only Jesus. There is no any other source where your help will come in this life. There is no any other way where your help will come in this life except through Jesus Christ. Fire by fire. I will possess my possession. I must possess my fire by fire. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. My name is Reverend Francis O. Adosike, the Senior Pastor of Rock of Victory Ministries International here in Johannesburg, South Africa. My dear viewers, I welcome you once again on today's program. Tuning in this time is not accidental. I believe that the Lord has decided to change every ugly situation. Anywhere you are watching this program, the power of the Holy Spirit is coming directly to you. It's coming directly to you. Your life will never remain the same. There is power in the Word of God. With God, all things are possible. In every hopeless situation, there is hope in the name of Jesus. In every helpless situation, there is hope in the name of Jesus. In that situation that seems to be that there is no more hope, there will be hope in the name of Jesus. As you watch this program, your life will never remain the same again. Oh, glory be to God. I believe that the Lord has sent me on your way at this moment for a purpose. Happy viewing. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Many children of God has lost the first zeal. The Lord told me, says, son, the reason why many of my children are struggling, their blessings are lingering, their expectations, please listen carefully, the message you are hearing is from the throne of God. I had a clear voice, a loud voice from God. He spoke to me for a long time. He says, son, most of my children, they are struggling today because they have shifted. They have shifted from me. They have lost the first love they had for me. They have lost the first zeal. The first zeal. Please listen carefully to this message. Remember I told you in this church the easiest way the easiest way to recover is to discover. When you have not discovered where you missed it you may be wandering around in the next five years confused frustrated. When you refuse to discover where you have missed it, where you have divided from the right track, when you struggle to discover it and correct it, you may be wandering around in the next 10 years. So, the easiest way to recover is to discover. Is to discover. As you discover where you have missed it this morning, and reconnect, the Lord will restore back everything that belongs to you. Can I hear a loud amen for that? People by the overflow, are you okay? If you are hearing me clearly, shout a loud amen. It is well with all of you. The overflow is so much. The Lord will see us through. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. One of the reasons many children of God loses their first zeal 
and first love is because of the challenges of this life. Somebody say the challenges of life. Because of the pressure. One of the things that have shifted, that have made the children of God, many children of God, although they are in the church, although they are in the church, but they have shifted from the presence of God. They have shifted from where God expected them to be. They have shifted from where the angels supposed to come to deliver, to deliver their blessings. Because of the pressure of life, many children of God have shifted from faith. That first zeal, that first zeal, zeal, that first determination is no longer there. Listen to me. Anything that shifted you from the presence of God has shifted you from God's blessings for your life. Anything that shifted you from the presence of God has disconnected you, disconnected you from the source, someone say from the source of my life. Before you were so zealous, you were so zealous before to serve God, to, be, to obey the word of God, to follow him diligently. You were so zealous in your prayer life. You were so zealous with your prayer life. You were not playing, playing with your spiritual life. After praying for some time, the devil told you that God has not answered your prayers. God is delaying. He is delaying answering prayers. God has abandoned you. You will be demoralized. You will be so demoralized and discouraged. And you shifted. You shifted from the presence of God by reducing Reducing your consecrations, your dedication, your devotion, your seriousness, and your sacrifice. Those things you used to do before, to the glory of God, you have shifted from it. You have shifted from them because you are discouraged and demoralized. The Lord is calling us today to come back, to go back to our first love, to go back to our first love, to go back to our first love. We are taking our text from the book of Revelations, chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, read from, read from 4, 4 and 5. Revelation chapter 2 from verse 4. Yes. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, I have this against you. I have this against you. That you have left your first love. That you have left your first love. That you have left your first zeal in the Lord. Yes. Remember therefore from where you have fallen. Remember then therefore. Remember. 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 The Bible says remember then therefore where you have fallen. Repent and do the first works. Repent and do the first works. Watch. Or else I will come to you quickly. Or else I will come to you quickly. And remove your lampstand. Someone say, and remove your what? Lampstand. Someone say, God forbid. Come on, say it again. The Bible says, remember, go back to fall. Verse go back four. to fall. Nevertheless, Nevertheless I, I have this against you. I have this against you. That you have left your first love. Remember, the Bible said, nevertheless, I have this against you, says the Spirit of God. I have this against you. That you have left your first love. There was a time you don't play with church services. You are always in the church. Ten minutes before the time. Five minutes before the time. But today, you dragged your feet to be in the church. You came to church sluggishly. Sluggishly, you know, dragging your foot reluctantly. Reluctantly, reluctantly pushing your leg. Even eight o'clock, you are still at home. You have not taken your bath. But there was a time early in the morning. 
every early in the morning on Sundays, you wake up in the morning before five o'clock, started praying, started preparing yourself because you love the presence of God, because you love the Lord. When it is Sunday, Sunday is around the corner, you will be so glad that I will be going to church to worship God. But today, many children of God has lost that flavor. Before, you were so zealous. It's okay. You were so zealous to obey the commandment of God. To do all the principles. All that the Lord expected from you. You don't play with sin. You don't compromise with sin. You hate sin with passion. You hate sin with passion. There are many things that you hate before because you love the Lord. But now, gradually, 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 you are going back. You are going back to those things. You are going back to those things that you have left because you have lost the first love. But today, the Lord has set me on your way to tell you to go back to your first love. Because you have shifted. You have shifted from your covenant of seriousness, dedication, consecrations, devotion, and seriousness. Because you have shifted. The Lord said, it has shifted his hand from blessing you. Praise the living God. I say praise the living God. John chapter 21 verse number 15 John chapter 21 go back to your first love this year the Lord want to surprise you and put your enemies to shame the Lord want to put your enemies to shame this year the Lord want to do the unusual things in our life this year but he says son tell my children to return Tell my children to return. They have shifted. John chapter 21 from number 15. John 21 from verse 15. Yes. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, uh -huh. do you love me? Do you love me? More than this thing. More than this. He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Yes. He said to him, feed my lambs. Yes. Simon, verse 16, he said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. Uh -huh. Verse 17, he said to him again the third time, the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, Peter was grieved. He was grieved in his spirit. He said, why? The Lord, the Lord has asked me the first question asked me the second one and he has proceeded asking me the third one the bible say he was grieved in his heart what happened he said to him the third time simon son of jonah do you love me peter was grieved because he said to him the third time yes do you love me and he said to him lord you know all things you know that i love you jesus said to him feed my sheep hear me people of god when we come to the presence of God, we come to the church for our selfish interests. The love of God is not in us. If you are only coming to church for miracles, for signs and wonders, to get financial breakthrough, to get husband, you no, know, for, for your selfish interests, you are far away from the blessings of God. The Bible said the Lord Jesus asked Simon Peter. He asked him more than, he asked him three good times. Do you love me more than the passing pleasures of life? Do you love me more than material things? Are you coming to church because of material things? Are you coming to worship me because of material things? Listen to me. People that come to the church because of material things, their backsliding from faith is by, the, by their nails. Every little thing, they will go back to the world. If they wait, waited for four months, six months, seven months, 
they didn't get what they were expecting, they will go back to Egypt. Go back to your first love is my message today. Don't allow the pressure of this life to push you away from the presence of God. Don't allow the things of this life, the things of this life, to shift you from the presence of God. Matthew chapter 22, Matthew chapter 22, from 36 to 38. Matthew chapter 22, from verse 36. Yes. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment? The disciples came to Jesus, asking him, tell us the greatest commandment from Genesis to Revelation. From Genesis to Revelation, which, which of these commandments is, is number one, is the greatest? Yes. Verse 37. Jesus said to him, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord. You God. shall love the Lord your God with all your with heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your mind. With all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. This is the first and great commandment. 38, 37. 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. With how many of your hearts? With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. That is when you are positioned for unusual blessing. When you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Hear me. No devil will come in between you and God. No devil will touch your life. No devil will have a space, a space in your life. No demon can stop your destiny. When you love God, God with all that is in you. When you follow God with all that is in you. When you surrender everything to God. Hear me. You are marked. You are marked for unusual blessings. You are marked for unusual blessings. You are marked for unusual blessings. Hear me. The Bible says in the book in the book of John chapter 14 John chapter 14 John chapter 14 verse 14 14 and 20 quickly John chapter 14 from verse 14 14 and 14 20 21 14 and 21 yes if you ask anything in my name I will do it I have 15 if you love me keep my commandment if you love me keep my commandment 21. He who has my commandments he and who, keep them. He who has, has my commandments and keep them. It is he who loves me. It is him who loves me. And he who loves me. And he who loves me. Will be loved. Will be loved by my father. And I will love him. And I will love him. And manifest myself and man to him. How many of you want the manifestation of God's glory this year? I prophesy in your life. The Lord will manifest his glory in your life this year. Can you shout a louder amen? amen? There will be manifestations of the blessings of God this year. There will be manifestations of the blessings of God in your life. Financially, materially, spiritually, physically, in all ratifications. The Lord said, I will manifest myself. I will manifest myself to him. Listen to me, people of God. There is something that many children of God don't know. Going back to Egypt, going back to Egypt is not a solution. In the time of trials, in the time of hardship, compromising your faith and going back to the world is not a solution. Rather, it's a destruction. He who hears my commandments, he who has my commandments and kept them, it is him who loves me. It is him who does what? He that fears me, he that obeys me, the, Jesus said, is he who loves me. And he who loves me, I will be loved by my father, will be loved by my father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. And manifest myself to him. People of God, don't allow the pressure of this life to shift you from the presence of God. Don't allow the pressure, the pressure of this life 
to move you away from God's glory. Many people don't understand this game. The reason why the devil is mounting all the pressure is to push you away from the presence of God. The game, the game, someone say the game. Say the game of the devil. The Bible says we must not be ignorant of the devices. We must not be ignorant of the devices. Of the devices of the devil. The reason why the devil is mounting pressure is to shift you from God. The devil is fighting you does not mean that he has the power to stop you. The devil is fighting the will of God does not mean that he has the power to stop the will of God in your life. The devil cannot stop what the Lord has prepared for you this year if you refuse to give up. I say if you refuse to give up. If you refuse to give up. If you refuse to give up. The devil cannot stop what the Lord has prepared for you this year. Am I talking to somebody? For we are not ignorant of the devices. Lest the devil, lest Satan should take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Don't go back to Egypt. Many children of Israel that desired to go back to Egypt because of trial, the trial of life, the test of time which they were going through, they were not able to enter the promised land and they were not able also to go back to Egypt. They perished. They perished. They perished. People of God, perseverance is needed. Perseverance is needed. Perseverance is needed on this race. On this heavenly race, perseverance is needed. No wonder Moses said in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, 24 and 25, when he became of age, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sins. Hear me, child of God. Anything, anything, anything that will take you away from the presence of God, anything that will come in between you and God is the worst enemy that you have. Please, don't be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Every little thing, many children of God shift from their faith. They backslide from their faith. They shift from the praises of God. The Bible said, take heed. Take heed. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's what? daughter. Choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the person. Hear me. When God has not promoted you, you are not promoted. Perfect blessings comes only from who? God. Perfect blessing. If it is not from God, it's a setup. Can I say it again? If it is not from God, it's what? It's a setup. If it is not from God, it's a setup. A setup for you. The Bible says the blessings of God makes one rich and has no sorrow. The blessings of the Lord makes one rich and has no sorrow. The Bible also spoke about the good, good success. Good success in the book of Je Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1 verse number 9. The Bible spoke about good success. This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night. Day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. From then you will make your ways prosperous. 
and have a good success. If there is a good success, there is a bad success. Can I tell you this? Many people died last year because they wanted to be faster than God. Many people that passed away last year, they died because they walked out of their coverage. They walked out of their what? Anything that takes you out of the presence of God has taken you out of your coverage, has taken you out of your destiny. Good success. Don't allow the devil to set you up with all these material things. I'm not saying that they are not good. Wait for the Lord. Follow him. Be faithful to God. Don't allow all this vain glory to deceive you. 1960-something, 1970-something, 1960, 60-something, 70. Most of the beautiful cars that made many people to go into armed robbery, that made many people to commit atrocities. When you see those cars now, if anybody dash you, dash you that car, you will reject it. They are fed away. They have done what? They have fed away. Those houses we were praising 1965, 1970, people we are running, people we are running, some big, big men build those houses. People we are worshipping them, honoring them because of the kind of house and the cars they were driving. If you see those houses now, if you see those houses now, you will hate it. You hate it. Don't allow the passing pleasures of this life to take you away from the presence of God. There were some pretty, some pretty young ladies, 1965, 1970, some men backslide from God. If I didn't get that lady, I would drop my Bible because of their pretty. If any of them is still alive, now if you see her, there's nothing in her that can attract you. <laughs> if you see that lady, many men, we are dying for her. Many men, you know, we are, you know, you know fighting each other to have her. 1965, 1970. Any of them that is still alive now, if you see her, there's nothing in her that can attract you passing pleasure of this life don't allow it to take you away from the presence of God don't allow impatience impatience to take you away from the presence of God rather the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse number 33 seek first the kingdom of God seek first the kingdom of God seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Bible says, and all that is shall be added to you. Number one thing the Lord said we must pursue if we must survive this year. Number one thing we must pursue compassionately with all our hearts is the kingdom and his righteousness. Kingdom and his righteousness. To follow him with everything that is not. Then he said, and all these things, husband, marriage, financial breakthrough, business, divine protections, promotion, favor, sound health, all these things, all these things shall be added to you. I prophesy in your life. As you seek the Lord with all your heart this year, you will see unusual blessings in your life. The Lord will do what no man can do in your life. Seek first. He didn't say seek first money. He didn't say seek first material things. He didn't say seek first cars. He said, he said seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You am, then you are marked for blessings. Then you are positioned for the blessings of God. The Bible said that all these things 
And all these things, and all these things, cars, houses, money, long life, protection, peace of mind, salvation of your soul will be added to you. I pray for you. This year, you will never fall into the traps of the devil. You will never fall into the traps of the devil. I speak in the life of somebody. You will never be a Christmas goat to the devil this year. You will never be a victim in the hands of the devil this year. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. The first zeal. Some of you have been discouraged by one thing or the other. Before, before you were a giver in the church, you give with all your heart. You pay your tithe. You give offering. You sow seed. You support Reverend Francis' ministry. But today, most of you have shifted. Most of you have shifted. And you forgot, you forgot that continuations bring freedom. Tell your neighbor, continuations bring freedom. Say it again. Most of you, we are so diligent in your giving, in your tithing. You tithe. Along the way, the devil poisoned your mind and told you, what, what is the difference since you have been tithing and giving offering and bringing money to the church? You allow that devil to poison your mind. You lost the first love. You lost the first zeal you had for the body of Christ. Hear me, child of God. Whenever we shifted, whenever we shifted from our dedication to God, from our service to God, we are shifting from the blessings of God. Things, things will be minors from us. As you shift, something will be minors. As you move, something will be minors. As you move, something will be minors. You know what I mean by minors? Something will be taken away. As you shift, something will be taken away. There is plus and minus. So, some of you that made mathematics, you know what I'm talking about. I pray for you. Nothing will take you away from the presence of God this year. Life is not always fair. Life is not always fair. But God is always faithful. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Psalm chapter 91. Verse 1. We read only one. But from one on your own, you can see benefits. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. Yes. He who dwells in the secret he place. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. He who makes who he who makes the secret place of the most high his dwelling place. Dwell, dwell it. Someone say dwell. Come on, say it again. Say dwell. Dwell, not not in an art, in an art, in an art. Listen to me. An unstable, an unstable, an unstable child of God got no place in the sight of God. Can I say it again? Unstableness has hindered many blessings. An unstable, unstable child of God got no place in the sight of God. When you read from, from 2 to 16, you will see the benefits. This first passage of the Bible, the book of Psalm chapter 91 verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. Shall abide under the shadow of his protections shall abide under the shadow of his blessings shall abide under the shadow of his promotions shall abide under the shadow of divine 
coverage shall abide under the shadow of the almighty God. The benefits are uncountable. Hear me. Renew your covenant of seriousness with the Lord today and the devil will lose the battle in your life. I say, and the devil will lose the battle in your life. If your enemy is loud, receive it. John chapter 15, verse number 4. John chapter 15, verse number 4. He said, abide in me and I in you. For he who abides in me and I in him brings much fruit. For without me, go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first zeal. The first zeal you had, you had for the Lord. You had in the things of God. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him brings much, much. How many of you want to be, pro want to be prosperous this year? He says will bring, bring, brings much fruit. Bring much abundance. Abundant, abundant blessings. For without me, you can do nothing. That is why the devil wants to discourage you, deceive you, for you to move out of the presence of God. Because he knows that you cannot go too far. The devil knows that we cannot go too far without God. So he will do everything to push you away from his presence. Not because of the, the job that is, that is delaying, the contract that you were disappointed, the marriage that didn't work out, some certain things, some of the certain things you are expecting you have not seen. That is not the target of the devil. The target of the devil is to disconnect you completely, to discourage you and disconnect you completely from the source source of your life am I talking to somebody yeah. hear me return back to your first love all those things you have slack you have slacked from you have shifted from you were doing when you had the first love for God go back to them take the right decision this year and enter the right track and enter the right words that will lead you to God's abundant blessings this year. It's not of him that wills or of him that runs. It's not by your giddy 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 compromising your faith, opening your legs because you want a job, because you want somebody to pay your rent. You are doing what God says you should not do. It's better you sleep along the streets. Let God see you sleeping along the streets because you refuse to disobey his word. Because you refuse to sin against him. He that wants to save his life will lose it. But he that loses his life for my sake, he said, he will find it. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world? Because, hear me, in summary, one of the major things that have taken people out of the presence of God the, the, I mean the things, the things, the things that have taken people out of the presence of God are material things. Someone say material things. Come on, say it again. Impatience has destroyed many souls. Passing glory. Vanity upon vanity. Solomon called it after Solomon acquired all these things, Solomon was one of the richest kings in the world. After he acquired all the riches, Rolls Royce, Bentley, Range Rovers, billions of dollars all over the world, properties, he woke up one day, he looked at them, said, look at, look at, vanity upon vanity, all is what? All are vanity. All are vanity. this God has nothing to do with an unstable people an unstable man cannot get anything from God when your life is in, in, that, in that situation 
when you find yourself in that condition, you hardly receive from God. The Lord told me that is the major problem. Most of my children I'm complaining, murmuring, but they are unstable. They are unstable. Their unstable life has affected what I want to do in their lives. Go back to your first love. In every situation, in every condition, whether good or bad, in the dry season, in the rainy season, in the empty stomach, in the full stomach, in the abundance, in lack, remain faithful to God. And he will never disappoint you. 2018 has started. Your decisions from this first week of the year matters a lot. Our decisions and determinations earlier this year will determine how we end this year. Our decisions and determinations earlier this year determines how we end this year. I've started my year seven days without food in my stomach. I feel like falling here, God knows. Because I've never broken my fast. I've started it beating my body, sub subduing myself in the presence of God for seven days, inside one, prison myself inside one room. Because I want to end this year victoriously. I want to end this year successfully. I want to end this year possessing all my possession. And I want every member of this church to be blessed beyond, uh, beyond their imaginations this year. The Lord said, son, go and tell my children, if they can be serious with me this year, if they can be serious with me and position myself, their selves, I will visit them beyond their imaginations. In every condition, whether food in my stomach or not, I will be faithful to God. Whether there is food in the fridge or not, the Lord is good. Whether there is job or not, I will worship God. Whether I've gotten the husband or not, I will be faithful to God. Go back to them and the Lord will see you through. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. I will leave it there for today. Next Sunday, I will preach part 2 of this message. Go back to your first love. You have walked out of the presence of God. You have shifted. You have shifted from where God wanted to locate you and bless you. That is why I read. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Yes. But as it is written. But as it is written, I has not seen. I has not seen. Nor ear heard. Nor ear heard. Nor has it. Nor, nor has, has it entered, entered into, into the, the heart, heart of, of man. Yes. The things which God has prepared. The things which God has prepared for, for those them. who love him. As it is written, eyes has not seen, ear has not heard, nor have it entered, nor have it entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for those that love him. For those that love him. That love him. In every situation, in every condition, you say, devil, you cannot come in between me and my God. In every situation, you refuse to give up. In every condition, you refuse to surrender. In every condition, you move forward. In every situation, you say, I will never go backward. I will move forward. Your destiny is not behind you. Your destiny is ahead of you. As we move forward this year diligently, you will march into abundant blessings. You will march into unusual blessings. Shall we stand on our feet? Go back to your first love. Where have you missed it? Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Renew your covenant with God. I give you one minute to pray. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. The Lord said, tell my children, they have shifted from me and they expected my blessings. Most of my children have shifted from me 
and they are expecting my blessings go back to your first love before the devil will take advantage of you Confess your sins. Tell the Lord to have mercy on you. In any form you have shifted from the praises of God, tell Him to forgive you. Renew your covenant. Renew your covenant today. Today being the first Sunday of the year, renew your covenant. Because of the pressure of life, you have gone back to Egypt. You have gone back to your sinful life. You have gone back to immorality, prostitution, stealing, horrible things. Make peace. Make peace with God. to thee you are my source every day Father draw me nearer you are draw me nearer nearer to thee moment oh my dear lord draw me nearer nearer to thee i need you every moment oh my dear lord draw me nearer nearer to thee hey, oh my son's every day Jesus to pray. Because of the pressure, because of the temptations, temptation and trials of this life, you have come back to your family. The Lord said, most of my children have come back to their vomit. You have come back to adultery. You have come back to fornication. You have come back your wickedness because of material things of this life what shall separate us 
from the love of God. What is it that will take you away from the presence of God? What is money? What are material things? What are material things to take you away? To separate you from the source of your life? That is deception. That is terrible deception and tricks. Because all those things, the Lord will give it to you if you patiently wait upon him. If we patiently wait upon him, all those things will come abundantly. Because of impatience, you have gone back to your wicked life. Because of deception, many people are in the church, but they have double face. Double face, one leg in the church, one leg in the world. Play in church. Lift up your hands, everybody. We are going to renew our covenant with the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus, my heavenly Father, from the deep down of my heart, I confess my sins of unfaithfulness, of unseriousness. I confess all my sins. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry. Forgive me, O oh Lord. In today's service, in today's service, the first Sunday of the year, I'm in your presence. I renew my covenant. Covenant of holiness. Covenant of righteousness. To serve you in truth and in spirit. From today, I return. I return to you with all my heart. I promise to serve you with all my heart this year. Oh Lord, my unfaithfulness and unstableness has affected your blessings, has hindered many blessings in my life. Today, I enter into a covenant of seriousness, dedication, seriousness, consecration, devotion, holiness, righteousness, and faithfulness with you, O Lord. Restore me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. From today, I am born again. I repent from my sins. I believe you can do all things for me. I will never go back to my sinful life, to my immoral life. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe that this year you will help me take control in Jesus' name. Give the hand off. Father, in the name of Jesus, most high God, we renew our covenant with you. Covenant of holiness. Covenant of righteousness. Covenant of dedication. We renew our covenant with you, O oh Lord. Everything that we did, that the enemy capitalized on, let it be ratified. Ratified. Restore. Heal. Recover. Everything that belongs to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your eight prayer requests. Lift up your eight prayer requests. For three Sundays, I will be praying on this prayer request. For three Sundays, I will repeat this prayer tomorrow, next Sunday, and upper Sunday. Divine instructions. Three Sundays before the quarter quarter of this year most of you will mark tick almost all the topics will, will tick almost all the requests lift it up those of you by the overflow lift up lift up your prayer requests just speak a word 
Tell the Lord, grant me beyond my expectation. Answer me. Pray, pray. Lift it up. in heaven. Lift it up. Those of you by overflow, lift it up. As your prayer requests are lifted up, today being the first Sunday of the year, before the last Sunday of this year, the Lord will answer you seven times. Jehovah will bless you seven times. He will do it seven times in your life. Seven. Eight times seven is what? Check the number. The Lord will do it beyond your expectations. Thank you, Father. Even the things you never thought of, Jehovah will do it in your life and in your family. In Jesus' name we pray. As God blesses you this year, Remain faithful to him. Yeah. And he will take you to another level. Yeah. Faithfulness moves us from glory to glory, from glory to glory. From When you remain faithful, you move from glory to glory. From But when you are unfaithful, you, are, you will be disconnected. Disconnected from the source of that blessing. Unfaithfulness disconnects disconnects you from the source of the blessing and when you are disconnected from the source of the blessing it will start going down 
please, as we have renewed our covenant with God, any amount of blessing you will see this year, remain faithful to God. Yeah. Lift up your handkerchief. Most high God, they came with handkerchief. People by overflow, lift it up. They came with handkerchief. But in your presence, I release your anointing. 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 Every handkerchief that is lifted up, I release the power of God. Anointing that breaks every yoke. Anointing for miracles. Anointing for healing. Anointing for signs and wonders. Anointing for unusual financial breakthrough. Anointing for business connections. Business connections. Tenders, tenders. I release tenders. I release contracts. Anointing for contracts. In millions. Millions of rats. In hundreds of millions. I release anointing. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Anointing for healing. Anointing for protection. Anointing for promotion. Anointing for connection. Anointing for health. I release special anointings in that handkerchief. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Shout seven loud amen. Wave it, 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 come on, wave it, lava, 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 Spread it on your head. Spread it on your head. Spread it on your head. All the blessings I've released on that handkerchief are your portion. Are your portion? So shall it be. <laughs> the Lord is speaking to me. Oh. Even from this January. You will see what you have never seen since you were born. You will see the kind of blessings you never expected in the next 10 years. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please keep this handkerchief. People by the verse flow. Keep it very well for me until the third Sunday. This is the first, second, and third Sunday. Please. <laughs> hey. Remember me in your kingdom. Yeah. And don't backslide because of too much blessing. Yeah. Don't backslide because of too much blessing. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Your prayer request and this handkerchief come back next Sunday with it. Yeah. I cover this week with the blood of Jesus. I release you to go and possess your possessions this year. Amen. To go and recover everything the enemy has taken away from you. Amen. As many of you that participated in today's service, I release special angels for you. Amen. Special angels to surprise you. Amen. To protect you. Amen. And to fight all our battles. Amen.
welcome, 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 welcome back. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. There is no shadow of doubt that the Lord has blessed you by just watching this program. Hello, my dear viewers. It is not over. Jesus is still alive. Jesus is on the throne. He is on the throne forever. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hear me? I don't know what you are going through. I don't know the circumstances that surround you. With God, all things are possible. All things are possible. In that hopeless situation, there is hope for you this moment. As I stretch out my hands to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, oh hallelujah. That person that wants to commit suicide, you are so discouraged, you are so demoralized because of what you are going through. And uh, that thought, the thought of committing suicide, you know, is frequenting your mind. I come against that spirit right now. That demon that is telling you that it is over, that you should end it once and for all. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of discouragement to leave my viewers right now. Oh, hallelujah. That ugly situation that is bothering you, that is troubling the life, under the sound of my voice, the Spirit of God is ministering to you right now. The power of the Holy Spirit is moving somebody from sorrow to joy. Your sorrow is turning to joy right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Spirit of the living God is making a way where there is no way for you. I prophesy under three days, under three days, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is making way where there is no way for you. And your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. That promotion that is hanging is released. At your working place, I'm manipulating your promotions. In the name of Jesus, your promotion is released automatically. Oh, hallelujah. Anything that belongs to you, they are manipulating spiritually or physically under the unction of this program. Anything that belongs to you that they are manipulated spiritually or physically by the power of the Holy Ghost is released right now. It's released right now. I pray for divine, divine interventions. Oh, hallelujah. Possess all your possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of disappointment is cancelled right now. The spirit of delay is cancelled. Frustration is cancelled in your life. Your life will never remain the same again. Oh, hallelujah. I stretch out my hand. If you are sick in your body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, receive your healing right now. I, I don't want to know the names of the sickness or how long it has been in your body. All that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know in the name of of Jesus, every day must bow. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing. That negative medical report is cancelled by the power and anointing from these brokers. Receive your healing right now. Receive your divine healing. I cancel that negative medical report. In the name of Jesus, high blood pressure is living someone right now. Under the unshun of this program, oh glory be to God. Pie, pie, that person that is having terrible pie. Receive your divine healing. You will sleep tonight before tomorrow morning. You will never see it again. You are urinating constantly because of sugar diabetes. It's cancelled right now. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, every unnecessary growth in your body is disappearing right now. Anything that is growing inside your body or on top of your body is disappearing automatically. You see your divine touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Every moving object. Moving object is leaving somebody. I command that moving object all over your body to vanish right now. Oh, hallelujah. The power of God is all over. Everywhere you are, look at the power of the Holy Spirit is all over you right now. Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted in your life is being uprooted right now. Oh, hallelujah. You are perfectly healed in the name of Jesus. Whether I call the name of your sickness or disease or not, under the unshot of this program, you see your healing right now. That woman that is struggling to conceive, you got married and you are struggling to conceive. Under the unshot of this program, I break the yoke of barrenness. The yoke of barrenness and miscarriages are destroyed right now. Oh, hallelujah. I release your babies. I release your baby miraculously carry your babies in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. 
delay the marriage and disappointment in marriage are cancelled right now. I release your marriage. That young lady that is watching this program and then you are experiencing disappointment upon disappointment upon disappointment in marriage under the mansion of this program. I release your marriage. Confusion in marriage is cancelled. Delay in marriage is cancelled. I release marriages right now. That ancestral spirit from your family that is delaying marriages is destroyed under the ocean of this program you are watching. I break it right now. I release you and I release every member of the family from that cage of delay in marriage. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, hallelujah. Calabar. That person that is watching this program, you don't sleep in the night. At the result of the sleepless night, you are having serious headache. And you have started losing your mind. You have started losing your mind under the motion of this program. You see the healing right now. You see the divine healing. I command sleepless night and headache to leave you right now. Thou spirit of madness projected to that person that is watching this program, I command you to return back to the center. Come out of that person right now. Come out of him. Come out of her. Go Birds back that to the sea, fish that, that swim, Jesus. and the light. I can't so much time in the day. I can't so every day. As we as we I'm not being attacked as we pray. So that is that we were born I with eyes to see these things. I pray for the divine protection. Thank thee this year for the view. Recover the glory this year is your year to shine. Your life will never be the same. Thank you, Jesus. The it is this world. Your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Thank Before I drop the curtain today, I want to give you this opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Give you know that you are not giving your life to Jesus. Please say this in prayer for me. Jesus, we thank I thee believe that you are the son of the living God. For and I also believe that you died on the third day where and we rose may work again. The and I believe that you died you and on the third day you rose again. For my we thank thee for the Jesus, sunshine and the to air my life. that we be breathe. my Lord and my personal Savior. We from today, thank I turn from my wicked ways. I repent from my sins. Thank I confess my for sins. The Forgive me of run all my sins. All day. I surrender all. Thank thee Jesus. for the little birds that sing Jesus, along the way. If you have just Thank thee for the trees and the deep blue sea. Oh, Lord. 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 We thank thee. Do not go back to Egypt again. Today, oh, yes, we again. thank the thee, Lord, Lord for the every flower. Thank you, my dear viewers. Birds so that sing, fish that and swim, and the light of the moon. We thank thee every day. To order or to purchase this message and any other materials from Rock of Victory Ministries International, call the number on the screen or write to us at info at rockofvictoryministries.org. Visit us at www.rockofvictoryministries.org. Feel free to worship with us at number 28, Wigwim Rebbe Street, Kona Queen Road, in Newtown, Johannesburg, South Africa. This is the beast of our weekly activity. Visit us on any of our social networks, on Facebook, 